If you're new to 3D printing, it might feel like you have unlimited options of things to print, and that's because you do. With 3D printing, anything is possible, but that can be extremely overwhelming when deciding what to print first. Today, I've compiled a list of 12 prints that if I were to do it again, I would print first. Now, I'm going to separate these items into three categories because in my opinion, there's really only three types of things that you do with 3D printing. Now, the first category is going to be upgrades for your 3D printer. It's kind of an oxymoron because if you didn't have the 3D printer, you wouldn't need to print the upgrades, but that's, that's just how it works, okay? I don't make the rules. These items are going to make your 3D printing journey just that much easier and you want to get ahead now. The second category of things that everybody prints with their 3D printer is practical prints. This is my favorite category of prints because it's solving a problem that usually can only be be solved with 3D printing. Now this is going to be things such as organizers or stands or things that you designed yourself and printed out for your specific needs. And the final category of things that you should print right away with your 3D printer are just cool items. There's nothing practical about them, they don't serve any real purpose, but they're really cool to look at or use and they're a lot of fun. So why not print them out? You have a 3D printer. This is what you got it for, right? To print those little movable snakes and dragons? Yeah? Before we get into the list, I just wanted to say that all of these prints are more of a guideline and I just wanted to show you what is possible with 3D printing. I'm not saying that every single print on this list is something that you need to print immediately because you'll see that just doesn't make much sense. It's more to give you an idea of what is possible and an idea of where to start with your 3D printer. And of course, the links to all of these files are going to be in the description down below so you can go print these for yourself right away. And if you have any other tips or suggestions for new 3D printers, leave them in the comments down below. And if you're a new 3D printer, go read the comments and hopefully they're not too mean to me and they actually help you out. Hey, we're on our way to 10 th Wait a second. 20,000, we're on our way to 20,000 subscribers. We hit that 10,000 mark already. You guys are amazing, see you later. All right, coming in at the very, very, very first thing that you really should print with your 3D printer, a benchy. It is a rite of passage for every 3D printer to print a benchy as a very first print, and most printers actually come with one preloaded, so you need to print that right away. Now, I know it just looks like a little bow that doesn't actually float the way it's supposed to, but it serves a practical purpose. This bow ensures that your 3D printer is working correctly and understanding the G-code that you are sending it. You can double check those overhangs and layer lines before you get started on a bigger project. Speaking of bigger projects, once you get comfortable with some of those basic prints, I think one of the first big projects that you might want to tackle is creating this ultimate spool enclosure by Supergrapher. This print fully encloses your filament spools on your AMS light and allows you to store desiccant with the spools to keep that humidity out of the filament. Now, if you weren't aware, humidity is the killer of filament. It'll get in there and it'll make your filament all brittle and it'll break and it's just no good and honestly you just need to avoid it at all costs. I've made two videos all about this enclosure so I would recommend you go check those out in the corner if this is something that you'd like to print for yourself. It's super cool because it shows you not only the outside humidity of your ambient air but it also shows you the humidity inside of your enclosure so you can tell if it's working or not. This print also pairs extremely well with reusable desiccant so as soon as you see those desiccant beads change colors you can throw them in a dryer in the oven, in the microwave, maybe out in the sun. I don't really know. There's a lot of ways to dry a desiccant, but you can redry your desiccant, throw it back in, and you're good to go. If you have a P1S or the X1C with the AMS, you are not left out of this either. There are plenty of solutions to storing desiccant inside of the AMS so that you can keep your filament dry as well. Now, I will admit that one is a bit ambitious for one of your first prints. It's going to take a lot of filament and a lot of time. Let's scale back a little bit. This next print is honestly a tool that I use almost every single day that I 3D print and it is a Bowden tube remover tool. This little guy prints out in only 20 minutes using very little filament and I literally use it almost every single day. I'm not even exaggerating and let me tell you why. These Bowden tubes on the A1 series printers are almost impossible to get out by hand. There's really no good way to do it. This tool simplifies the entire Bowden tube removal process from not only the printer but also the AMS as well. Now I already know what you're thinking, why do I need to remove the Bowden tubes? all the time. Well, let me tell you. If you get a failure to extrude filament error, there's a good chance that a piece of filament has broken off inside of the Bowden tube. This has happened to me, honestly, I don't even know how many times, but it's a good amount. It's enough to where this tool is probably my most used tool of all time. Now let me show you how to solve this issue very quickly with this tool.
After you've been 3D printing for some time, you're going to discover plenty of other brands of filaments and they all come with different spools and different diameters. And you're going to find that some of those diameter spools don't fit onto the AMS light. And that is where these spool adapters come into play as my number three print. You can find spool adapters for any brand filament that is out there, print them out. They're usually pretty quick prints. They slide onto the inside of your filament roll and then they make that fit onto the AMS light nice and snug. You don't have to worry about the filament roll falling off while you're printing. If I'm near the end of a filament spool and I don't have enough filament to print out something larger, I always print one of these because they're easy to print, don't require much filament, and they always seem to go missing for some reason and I always need more of them. So this is just a great print just to have around. And the fourth and final print of this category is going to be the SRT or spool removal tool on Maker World. This print and takes those pesky filament spools that get stuck on your AMS light and slides over the actual AMS light arms? Holder? Whatever you call this thing and it makes that spool slide right off. There are multiple different versions on this creator's profile depending on if you have cardboard spools, if you're using the bamboo spools and honestly these make it so much easier to remove the spool especially if you're using the enclosure because you can't quite get your fingers in there the way you need to. Pull the spool off. I've ripped plenty and plenty of cardboard spools trying to remove them with the enclosure on this tool solves that issue entirely if you're looking for more upgrades or mods for your a1 series printers i have three whole videos all about that that you can go check out in that corner next is my favorite category my all-time favorite thing to print with the 3d printer and that is these practical prints we're going to be solving real world problems using our 3d printer in my opinion this is where 3d printing absolutely strives there is no other way to get solutions like this without it being super expensive or sometimes impossible now a lot of times these practical prints can be super personal to whatever issue you are specifically having so you might have to design that for yourself today i'm going to keep all of those personalized ones out of the list and i'm only going to show you ones that can apply to everybody with that being said everybody has batteries in their home usually in a junk drawer kind of in the side of the house and they're just hard to find they always roll around just doesn't look good this is a battery holder and dispenser that i found on maker world that has solved that problem entirely now there are tons and tons of battery organizers that you can find on Maker World. This is just the one that I found to work the best for my specific situation. It has two slots for double A's and two slots for triple A's. You just load them through the top just like this, drop them in there, they fall into place, and then as soon as you grab one, guess what? The next one is already falling and ready for you to grab. It auto loads itself. This is an amazing, super simple print, and I love it. I use it every single day. Okay, that's a lie. I don't need batteries every single day, but the batteries are always in here, so technically it is used every single day, you know what I mean? Alright, let's just, let's just get to the next one. Now I'm not exaggerating with the second one, I really do use it every single day. This is the 3D printed key organizer EDC holder carrier thing. It basically holds your keys, it stops them from jingling around and making a bunch of noise. It looks super good. It's basically a dupe of a key holder from a company that rhymes with bridge, if you know what I mean. And it's very expensive if you get it from that company. So if you want to sponsor me, great, you know, I'd be happy to take the real deal. But I don't have that kind of money. I need to 3D print a solution and this is that solution. Now, I do have to cover up the keys because these are my real keys and I have learned to not post my keys on the internet. In my opinion, this print not only looks super good, but it also eliminates the need to carry around a pesky keychain that just takes up a lot of space and makes a ton of noise. Now, this is super customizable. You can print spacers to fit your needs for whatever key that you have or however many keys you want to fit in this thing. You can really go all out if you want to. I just decided to keep it simple and keep my two most used keys on there. If practical 3D printing ends up being your thing, it's only going to be a matter of time before you need threads in one of your 3D prints so you can use screws to attach stuff. And that's what a threaded insert is. It is an insert that adds threads. Makes sense, right? But you need a soldering iron to do this and if your hand is not perfectly level when you press down on that threaded insert into your 3D print, it's gonna go in all cattywampus and cockeyed and your threads are just not gonna work right. With an insert station like this, it takes all the variables out of it and it allows your soldering iron to only go up and down to ensure that those threads are going in properly. If you've watched any of my other videos, you already know what my last practical print is gonna be. Gridfinity! Come on, this has got to be the most practical 3D print of all time. Graffiti is a grid-based storage system designed by YouTuber Zach Friedman that allows you to print these bins or storage solutions 
literally almost anything that fits into this grid base and makes storage super easy and super customizable to fit any of your needs. You can find pre-made bases for almost any drawer system, anything you want on Maker World. But if you can't find the size that you need, there are some cool tools in Onshape, such as the Onshape Base Generator. You put in whatever size you need to fill with that base and it creates an STL for you and you can just go print it out and you're gonna have a perfect fit every time. There is quite literally an unlimited amount of things that you can store with Gridfinity that people have already created. If you wanna get an idea, just go on to Maker World and search Gridfinity and you are gonna find bins and storage solutions for quite literally everything and I'm not kidding. Again, if you've watched this channel, you know that I love Gridfinity. I have used it to transform all of my cable storage. I've also used it to transform my toolbox and there's a lot in store for videos with Gridfinity if you know what I'm saying. All right, we've made it to the fun category of 3D printing. This is just the cool stuff. Again, no real practical use, it's just cool. And I think the best way to kick off that is by showing this skull mask that I printed for Halloween. The details on this mask are just absolutely insane and it looks almost a little too real if you see it from certain angles. It even has holes in the side so you can mount some string or some ribbon, whatever you need to do so that you can wear it as a mask. I like this print just because it shows off the possibilities of 3D printing, how precise you can really get, and how real you can make something look. The next thing you should 3D print just because it's cool is a lithophane. Now there are tons of pre-made lithophanes on Maker World, or you can create your own. There's plenty of websites online. Just look up lithophane generator and you're gonna find a whole list of them. All you gotta do is upload your picture. It's gonna spit out an STL. You go and print that thing out, hold a light underneath it, and it's gonna illuminate an image. And I just think this is a super awesome 3D print. That also makes a really good personalized gift if you're looking for that sort of thing. You should 3D print just because you can is small things super big, kind of like this. This is a super large version of the Bamboo A1 0.4 millimeter nozzle. You can even see it's got that magnet on the side. The details on this thing are crazy considering how big it is. Like I said in a previous video, this thing is massive and I'm trying to figure out how to hang it on the wall, but it honestly might be too heavy for that. And the final item that you should print just because has been behind me this entire time and it's decorations. When you think of 3D printing, you usually don't think of decorations, but that is one of its strong suits. You can print anything you want and it looks amazing on the wall. And there we go. There is 12 3D prints that I think make amazing first prints. Some of them more practical than others for sure. Some of them are just cool. Either way, I think they give you a cool starting point or at least an idea of what is possible with 3D printing and you can go anywhere from here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're making it to this point in the video, I really appreciate you being here. Not many people make it this far. If you really, really liked the video, you can give it a like or you can subscribe to see more future videos, but you know, that's up to you. I can't make you do that. But what I can make you do is have a great rest of your day. So I'll see you later.